Si no me la mete, igual no me merece. Oh, you remember. Oh my God. You remember. Stop. I'm back. So, hey. I'm sorry I haven't been here. Um, I had to take a little break because I started school. And so if you didn't know already, I got accepted into the dental assisting program. So I didn't get accepted into hygiene, but I did get a, but I did get accepted into assisting. So it wasn't really what I wanted, but at the end of the day, I'm glad that I did because honestly, I would not have been able to handle assisting. It does not matter because I got it. I got accepted into assisting. I was low key glad, and then going through this program. I realized that hygiene is probably probably not gonna be for me and I'll get into that later but so I just completed my first semester last week today is December 2nd 2020 so I just completed um, my semester last week and then by the end of this week on Saturday I will be taking two national board exams so we'll see how that goes. If I pass that, then I just need to take one more test and then I'll be in expanded functions dental assistant. And there's three different types of assisting, um, if I'm not mistaken. There's a DA1, which is dental assistant one, a DA2, and then if you get certified, it's a certified dental assisting or also known as an expanded functions dental assisting. I, can't, I could be wrong, but... You know, I my my brain is like fried, and you know I've been doing this for sixteen weeks now, so it's it was it was exhausting. But what I am aiming for is an expanded functions dental assisting, also known as a certified dental assisting. So if I decide to move out of my state, I can practice dental assisting anywhere. So pretty much, I'm gonna give you a breakdown of my first semester, um, and then thanks to COVID. Like the lecture classes, they were all online and there wasn't like no um, like WebEx or Zoom. It wasn't none of that. It was just one class and it was every Friday. But luckily, because of COVID, that did happen. And I am thankful because I would have failed those classes if it wasn't for COVID. Technically speaking, on my... Okay, so this is what all the classes I took. I took or facial anatomy. I took dental radiography. I took dental sciences. I took dental materials. And then I took preclinical procedures. And I took infection or hazard control. So I was taking six classes. And um, pretty much on Tuesdays and Wednesdays is when I had lab. So for those days, I had dental materials, on Tuesday, I had dental materials and oral facial anatomy. If you don't know what dental materials is, it's pretty much a class that um, teaches the lab portion. Ooh. In dental materials, you're pretty much creating things um, for the patient. So that was what the class was about. For example, I made this, and this is for orth orthodontics. This is just uh, a diagnostic model, and you can see your teeth and whatnot, and then like we create um, I'm not gonna see what I what, what we create because I honestly forgot. But um we can create um bleach trays and more things, but you know, I I decided to zone out and just forget about everything until I have to come back and remember everything. And then I also made this. This right here is a bleach tray. This is what you put in your teeth. This is what you put the mixture of the bleach to whiten your teeth in it. And then you just sit it on and look. If you can see closely, there's like these little, you see those little bubbles? That's what you put it in. Because if you just put it like that and it has no no bubbles like that, if you just put it in, it's going to like burn your gums. So this helps prevent it. And then I also made this. Which is pretty much a custom tray. So if you go into a dental office and the trays, like they don't fit in your mouth, they create a custom tray for you. And then this is what the bleach tray, you see those 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 blue things? Those, those is what the holes are for on the bleach tray. So yeah, pretty much. 
That's what dental materials is. And the next thing is or facial anatomy. This, I disliked this class so much because it was just a lot of work. Like, honestly, look, and, and here's the thing. All the classes are easy, but for lecture part, they're just a lot of work. And for the lab, um, it was it was all right. You know, it, it's just lab. So you just go in there and, and then you do what you have to do. Pretty much, they're just teaching you what you're gonna have to do on the job. They go by the book, which is what which is what I find weird because honestly, when you go into your practice, um, you're pretty much gonna be working for the dentist, and you know, not every dentist is the same. They're gonna be different, and then um, they're gonna teach you ways how they like. So yes, or facial anatomy, you're just pretty much learning about the teeth structures, the um, anatomy of the mouth, and all that, and then the the anatomy of your face because we do learn that. And then the body is just like anatomy plus anatomy teeth. So it, it, it was a lot. And then on Wednesdays, I had preclinical procedures and then I had dental radiography. Preclinical procedures, what it consists of is pretty much you're just, you're focusing on what you do before the procedure, like things that you have to do before the procedure. And that consists of cleaning, setting up your instruments, um, setting up um, like things in your mouth. And, you know, it was it was all right. It was pretty easy. Um, the most the most difficult thing I struggled with was assembling the syringe, the anesthetic syringe, you know, the syringe they put in your mouth. So I was struggling with that and then passing it because I was scared. <laughs> and then a, a lot of times I would bend the needle because the needle is like a thin wire and it's like very flexible. So I would bend it and then, yeah. So, but I passed, I passed every every single competency that there was, so I was grateful. It was dental, radiography, it was, it was all right. Um, when it came to dental radiographs, like we would just be practicing on mannequins. And so, you know, we had a competency where we had to bring live patients. And, you know, I struggled a bit because I never, like I missed one week of school because I was sick. And so, because I missed that, I never got a chance to practice on a live patient. So, um, on the day when we had live patients, like, I was just putting the shit in their mouth. Like, like it, it, like, it hurt it. It hurt them. And so, pretty much the dentist, the doctor in the building, um, she had to come up and then she showed me a little pad that you put on a plate that takes pictures of your teeth. And then she... Pretty much, she just told me to put that on so like it, it doesn't hurt. So I didn't I didn't know that. Like the teacher, like she told me that, but she never taught me how to put it on. But the dentist did, so I was grateful for her. And that's pretty much it. I also took dental sciences, was pretty much an online course. It was annoying. Um, I passed the class with a C. And throughout my college, I've been in college for two years, and then um, that that class was the only class I ever have gotten a C in. I wanted to cry so bad because like, you know, I I mean, I don't have a great GPA, but like it's above 3.4. So, and you know, I was getting all A's and B's every single semester. But then when I entered this program, I got a C in that class. So I wanted to cry, but I passed every other class. That's pretty much it. So if you're going, if you look, look, okay. So now let me tell you about the hygiene. I did not get accepted into hygiene. I did get, I did get accepted into assisting. So I had all the requirements for hygiene, but I've never done assisting. So I needed experience. But you know, some people, they don't need experience to go into hygiene, but I didn't get accepted. And so pretty much I applied for assisting, they accepted me. And yeah, honestly, it's not difficult because if you think about it, they're just, they're just practically preparing you for the job. Like you're, you're doing everything what you're gonna do when you go work in a clinic. In a, in a clinical area or setting. So, and then once you go into that clinical setting, the dentist in there, the main dentist will practically teach you because you're a dental assistant. So what you do is you pretty much help the dentist. You help them during the procedures, you create models for the patient and all that. So, and then, yeah. And so there's three different classifications of dental assisting. Pretty much it, yeah. So if you want to go into this area, 
as a starting position, um, you should. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty fun. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty fun. Um, it is a lot of work. <laughs> there was times when I would come back home and I would just feel tired, like my feet would hurt. And yeah, so it is a lot of going back and forth, a lot of cleaning, um, cleaning up your area, um, sterilizing instruments. Um, yeah. So that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions for me, you know, feel free to comment down below. Um, I'll answer as much as I can. Don't ask me anything anatomy related or anything anything smart. Just ask Google because honestly, I, I just forgot everything as at this point. So, yeah. So, I know this was a serious video, but, you know, I've been gone for a while and I just wanted to sit down and chat. But, si no me la mete, what? No me manese. Oh, you remember. Oh, my God. You remember. Stop. <laughs> well, yeah. So, good night.